www.moord.net Hoofstuk 13 Thomas wordt aangeval So in hoofstuk 12 Tabu en Thomas was chatting at the coffee shop about his grandmother about Tabu's grandmother who was worried about Thomas and he told him about his room being haunted and all that jazz So Tabu also helped Thomas search for info about Stanley Robinson on the Cape Times' archives which they also printed out so Tabu left and Thomas is also leaving because Hannes and uh, Thomas is going to Alex's house later that day. Thomas is about to cross the street when he takes out one of the printouts. An article stating, Mr. Nick Miller McKay, 37, was arrested last night in connection with the gruesome murder of the well-known mine magnate Sir Stanley Robinson's daughter, Sarah Beth. Thomas wonders if this guy was the killer and why he killed Sarabeth. His thoughts are interrupted when the light turns green, but before he can walk, a dark figure grabs his school bag, runs off, and disappears. Thomas is shocked. He sees the man running into an alley, but decides not to follow the thief. Why his reasons are? He is not a character in an action flick. Ni. He is not a character in an action movie. In now, what last year with Hannes Pachebier? So after what happened to Hannes's dad last year, he definitely is not going to chase the thief. So what did happen? Hannes Pach was shot in a opera. So Hannes's dad was shot in the driveway in a gewapende roof, in an attempted hijacking. And now sit he in a rollstool, and now he sits in a wheelchair. Thomas thinks the thief is dumb. I think the thief is dumb. Who come? Because Thomas does not care about his school bag. He can't even wear his school bag. He doesn't say that. And he thinks his sport sack has more value, has more valuable value items in. He thinks that his sport bag has more valuable things in. Why didn't the thief steal that? Thomas decides to go straight to the station to go to Hannes' house. However, he needs to go to the loo first. Inside the toilet, a strong hand pulls Thomas' face back. And a hand covers his face with a cloth. Thomas starts to lose consciousness. but. He sees the person, and it is tam 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 Nicholas Miller. So let's recap. Who is Nicholas Miller again? He is the architect, the person, the guy who the restaurants of the house did. And he's also the person who, who told them the story about Sarah Beth being killed in Thomas's room. He told them the story of Sarah Beth, the murder, the death, the tale. So before. Thomas, before he closes his eyes, before he fully loses consciousness, one other name pops into his head. And the name is Nick Miller McKay. The name from the newspaper article, the killer or the person that was arrested for killing Sarabe. Okay, guys, I hope that this helped you. Please have a look at my other videos about Thomas at Moore.net. Goodbye.